Some of us are familiar with the Enneagram. It's a study of personality types from a certain perspective. So about 20 years ago at Sunrise Ranch, some of us went on a big kick. We had discovered the Enneagram and we had all kinds of fun typing ourselves and laughing at ourselves at being so predictable in, in personality types. And we learned a lot. We learned a lot about ourselves and a lot about each other. Um, and at the same time, I do believe the practice has or the study of the Enneagram has a potential downfall, which is that people type themselves. Oh, I'm a this. It's a little bit like typing yourself as a astrological sign or anything else. Um, it can be insightful, but we're all more than an Enneagram type. We're all more than a personality type. There's something transcendent about us. And in fact, we're called upon to be all personality types, depending on the situation. They're all dimensions of a human being. There are two, two men who partnered together to bring a study of the Enneagram, and they were absolutely brilliant in what they did. And uh, their names are Don Rizzo and Russ Hudson. Don has passed on. Russ is still teaching. But they... They wrote about levels of what you could call a maturity in each personality type. Levels of maturity. I don't know that they, they called it a healthy and unhealthy, I guess. So here's one of the types. This is um, type one. The reformer. At their best, become extraordinarily wise and discerning. By accepting what is, they become transcendentally realistic, knowing the best action to take in each moment. Humane, inspiring, and hopeful, the truth will be heard. So, that's level one. They show nine levels. We had fun with this because if you read one of these, if you have a sense of where, where your tendencies are and you read these descending levels of health, it goes to absolute rack and ruin. So, so we would laugh at ourselves, just laugh at our worst tendencies as human beings, and then also appreciate like every, every, dimension of human experience has its most elevated expression. But the point is to live oriented in such a way that you are realizing the highest potential of the king that you are, or the highest potential of the queen that you are, not the, the lowest, unhealthiest, less mature, mature, egoic expressions of that. So, so this is down to level seven on this one. Can be highly dogmatic, self-righteous, intolerant, and inflexible. Begin dealing in absolutes. They alone know the truth. Everyone else is wrong, very severe in judgments, while rational, rationalizing own actions. You can see where this tremendous sense of truth in the elevated expression of this personality type, this tremendous sense of what's true, this, a sense of righteousness, not self-righteousness, but righteousness, sense of divine order, while it's, it's present at the most healthy levels, at the un unhealthiest levels, you get something else. Well, such is the world we live in, right? So let us be centered in what we want to become. Let us visit the divine so that the divine visits, visits us.
that not only visits us, comes through us, expresses through us, clearly, purely, so that we become that in expression, embodied in life on earth. Like I say, from a practical standpoint, I don't know how else you solve the problem of a human life. <laughs>